Hi everyone. Okay, we're going to start in section 3.2 um, and that is describe the attributes of healthy skin. So you'll want to click on that in your mind tab and then hit the read section and then we're going to get started with that. Okay, so the skin or the integumentary system. So that is what our skin system is in, the integumentary system. Uh, when we talk about the different systems of the body being skeletal, muscular, nervous, the skin is in this system. Okay, so your skin is the largest organ of your body. So if you think about it like this, your heart is an organ, your liver is an organ, well, your skin is an organ as well. And I always say if you could take your heart and pin it on the outside of your chest um, and you could walk around with it like that, you would take such good care of it because you would know that it's life or death. Well, it's the same with your skin. Your skin is an organ, okay? It's a living organ of the body and it's the largest. And so it's super important that we take good care of our skin. Okay, because it can lead to life or death as well. Um, your skin is also a really strong barrier designed to protect us from the outside elements. Um, skin layers, the nerves, the cellular function, the hair follicles and glands, they all work together harmoniously to regulate and protect our body. Okay, so you think about it, um, you, you know, bacteria... If your skin is in really good shape and intact, then you're, it's protecting us from bacteria, viruses, and other things that could potentially get into the body and cause a lot of havoc. So uh, growth hormones or growth factors, hormones, and biochemicals, those are the things that do control the skin's intricate, intricate uh, functions. Sorry. Um, so then we scroll down and we do see that there's a photo of the skin, the layers of the skin. So I just stuck this one up here just to show you and this one as well. Um, but anyway, so this just kind of shows you here is your epidermis and then here's our dermis. Okay, um, and so we're going to talk more about those layers of the skin as we start to um, go through this chapter. But for now, um, just wanted to point that photo out because that was next in your um, reading assignment. Okay, so the basic materials and the building blocks for our body's tissues, that is proteins. So those are the basic materials. Now, what is a protein made up of? Well. Um, proteins are made up of amino acids, chains of amino acids. So I got this photo here for you. This is the backbone of an, an amino acid. So we notice they all, all amino acids have the same backbone. What makes each of them unique is this R group, or is, another term is called side chain. Um, so amino acids have um, they have the amine group which I'll show you here in a minute and then the carboxylic acid but what I want to really focus on right now is they all have the same backbone with a different R group so I'll show you um, that you guys are made up of 20 different amino acids that's what makes up our body and um, here they are so remember the R group on this one? In pink, this is the R groups. So that makes each one of these unique and different. Um, so we, they all have the exact same backbone, exact same. It's that R group or side chain that makes each of them different. Okay, so how did it get its name? Well, because when we're looking at the backbone, here we always have the central carbon here is a nitrogen, so this is what makes your amino group, and this is the carboxylic 
group or carboxyl, but it's a carboxylic acid. And so that's how it got its name, amino acid from the carboxylic acid. Okay, so um, now we want to talk about how amino acids form um, proteins. So what we do is we take an amino acid. Here's uh, amino acid one, amino acid two. And in this red, you can see here, we're going to take off this oxygen, this hydrogen, and this hydrogen so that this carboxylic acid can bind with this amino acid or amine group. So um, here we look, we took off the, the oxygen and the two hydrogen, we end up with the water. Okay, that is one of the end products. But then here they bond together. So you can see here the amine group bonds with the carboxylic acid. When they bond, they form what we call peptide bonds. Okay, so that's what a peptide bond is. So amino acids do form peptides, and these peptides are what forms um, proteins. So I'll show you another one. So here we have three different amino acids, and here two of them have bonded together, forming a dipeptide. And here we've got more of them now forming. See all the different unique side chains or R groups on each one of them? Anyway, they go together, and when you get enough of these together, it creates part of a protein. So this would be the primary structure of a protein. So it's amino acids forming together through peptide bonds that create proteins. So proteins, they have a lot of different roles in maintaining our skin's health. Um, and your skin is this really cool um, thing is about the skin is it, it's a manufacturer of proteins. But the cool thing is I drew up here, I just wanted to show you, this is exactly one square inch. So I took my ruler and measured it out exactly one square inch. And this is just a fun fact, but your skin, it has miles of blood vessels, millions of sweat glands, and an array of networks, of nerve networks, um, all into one, you know, uh, section. So what I wanted to show you though is one square inch of your skin, these are fun facts, 15 feet of blood vessels is in there. I mean, think about it, 15 feet, that's really long. And we're cramming that into one square inch. Also on top of that, we're gonna add 12 feet of nerves into that one square inch. And 650 um, sweat glands are going to go into this one square inch and 100 oil glands, which would be like your sebaceous glands. And that is all crammed into this one. I couldn't even draw 650 dots on there just to show you. I mean, it's, it's a pretty amazing to me. Now, <clears throat> there's some key things that you do need to know um, in this section as well. Um, besides the proteins, but you do need to know the appendages of the skin. And for instance, um, the appendages of the skin, um, I have heard that has been on the state board exam in the past. Whether you get that or not, I don't know, but it's something you should know. So we're going to go over the appendages of the skin. So I put up here the appendages of the skin. And then um, these are the things you need to know. The appendages are the hair, okay, the nails, your sweat glands, and also your oil glands. So your sweat glands are called sudoriferous glands, and your oil glands are called sebaceous glands. Okay, so those are the appendages of the skin. I would remember that. Write that out maybe on a three by five 
a note card and always remember that because like I said in the past on some of the tests it has been on there. Now another thing about our skin if it's healthy skin it's going to be slightly moist it's going to be soft smooth and somewhat acidic so if you take the average of all the people and average their pH of their skin it's usually a 5.5 um, pH so it is somewhat acidic because remember on the pH scale 0 to 7 is acid and then from 7 above is alkaline so our skin is 5.5 meaning it is in on the acidic side okay um, and so different ethnicities it will change but sometimes like african-american skin is going to be more of a 4.5 so it is more acidic um, than you know other skin types um, and that's not always the case but a lot of times you know because their hair is more drier and stuff like that so they're more acidic um, Anyway, so that is pretty much the end of the reading for this little section of 3-2. And so there is a check-in that I want you to do, and it is list five interesting facts about healthy skin. So after you've watched this, then I need you to go on, uh, go and write those five interesting facts down. And then also... There's some assignments underneath this tab, um, and the first one is Chapter 3 Do, and it's Skin Care Multiple Choice Quiz. So I need you to do the quiz, and then the second do that they have underneath there is the Attributes of the Skin. It is a true and false quiz. So um, work on those, get those finished, and then I'll see you in the next section. Have a great day.